Okay, so now that we've finished the house, um, there's a few inspections that you're required to do um, before you're allowed through the municipality to move in the house. Okay, so you basically have to get a building inspector and building inspection to do a final inspection on the house. Uh, you also here where we're building, uh, we need to, we're required to call the gas company to come in. They do a gas inspection on all your gas appliances, basically your furnace, hot water tank, fireplace, or if you have any uh, gas uh, ovens or gas dryers, and they will actually do the turn on for you, okay? Because you're not required to, you're not allowed to do the turn on for those appliances unless the gas company comes and does that for you. So keep that in mind that you're, uh, where, you're, where your municipality is, that might be a requirement, it is here. And also your electrical inspection. So uh, your electrical uh, contractor will call for electrical inspection. The inspector will come, uh, go through the house, go through your panel, um, make sure it was done uh, to code and, and do that uh, final inspection for you. Okay, but for the one that you're gonna be involved with uh, most is, is with the uh, building inspector. Now the building inspector, when he's doing a building inspection for a final, it's basically um, he's doing what's called a final, so you're allowed to occupy the house and basically here it's called, they give us a, an occupancy permit, so uh, it allows us to occupy the house. Now, they're, uh, they're basically going to look at mainly the safety issues of the house and make sure it's functioning and, and livable. They're not really uh, mandated to, to make sure your doors are straight and your trim's done properly or the carpet's installed properly or anything anything really related to the finishing of the house like the uh, the details of the house but what they really look for are uh, I'll mention a few items that pretty much all inspectors are going to look for and you know some look uh, you know at different things and, and a little bit more so at other things but basically um, the main things that you're going to want um, that they're gonna to wanna to make sure it's it's safe to occupy. So um, your stairs and your railings and your handrails and your guards uh, on the house, around your porches, walking in and out of the garage, walking outside, um, anything to do with railings or stairs where there's more than uh, 24 inches, uh, they're gonna require some type of guards and, and rails that uh, were on the permit that they're, have to, they're gonna have to be installed before they allow you to do occupancy. Uh, also, they're gonna check all the smoke detectors in the house on all, on all three, on all levels. In our house, it's all three levels, so um, they basically will press it. The smoke is up here, so we've got a cover on. We're gonna take the cover off and do a test on it uh, to make sure that they're all uh, functioning properly. Uh, to make sure, they're also gonna make sure that your uh, your hot water tank is running and then you have uh, functional uh, uh, sinks and functional toilets in your house. And also they're gonna check the garage for gas proofing. Basically we're gonna go do that right now to check it right now. And uh, basically gas proofing, you wanna make sure that there's no holes that are from the garage that are gonna lead into the house where there's a potential of any carbon monoxide from your cars to get into the house. So that's one of the things that they're also uh, gonna check. And more than likely, they're gonna check to make sure a lot of times, the last thing um, last thing a lot of contractors or you'll do is you've insulated the house, you've had the insulation inspection, but you haven't blown the insulation in the attic. So they're gonna require you to um, make sure, they're gonna be required to make sure that's done. Usually they'll make you open up the attic hatch and usually the, not usually, the uh, insulator will staple a tag here that it was done and the thickness that it was done in the attic. So let's go uh, take a look at the garage and make sure it's gas proofed.